Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, today what I wanted to do was personalize my iPhone. I like to do this once a month at the beginning of the month to kind of correspond to the month that we're celebrating, right? Uh, last month was November and so I had like a fall aesthetic theme going on. Um, I think that's what they call it, aesthetic. And then this year, this month, I should say, being at December 1st, I wanted to go ahead and update it to be a um, winter theme slash Christmas idea. Uh, more, I was more thinking uh, winter in Chicago. If you haven't been to Chicago and it's uh, during the winter time, it's I know it's really cold, but it's one of the most beautiful cities that I've ever seen as far as when the sun, when the snow first comes fall down. Um, so what I did for now is I just went to go ahead and just emptied out my entire phone and I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over a little bit and then I'm going to set up some a screen recording here so you guys can follow along. Uh, I want to see what everybody's opinions are, if it's worth it, if it's not, is it something you're willing to sit down and do it? Um, I'll give you my opinions at the very end. Okay, let's begin. Right. Go ahead and set up screen recording here and now you should be seeing it. So the first things first, you are going to need a couple of items. You are going to need an app called Color Widgets. So it's going to look like this. It's free. Go ahead and download it. Another app you're going to need that I've used is PixArt. This is where you're going to be able to edit your phone, uh, edit your pictures, and you'll be able to go ahead and make your own creations here, okay? And then the other app that you're going to need is called Canva. And then here you'll be able to go ahead and set up your icons that we're going to be using throughout the throughout my tutorial. Again, this is how I set up my own personal phone. I've seen countless videos on how other people have personalized their iPhones. I found this to be the easiest for me where it's not too time consuming. And then lastly, what you're going to do is go on Pinterest or Google or YouTube, whatever website you go to to go ahead and get your inspiration and what I like to put in is winter iPhone wallpaper aesthetic whatever pops up and then you're able to go ahead and look and see what wallpaper sticks out to you it also comes up with different ideas on how your iphone can look like so i do have some of my pictures already saved on how i wanted my phone to look at i do have some pictures that i wanted that gave me some inspiration so what i'm going and they're all saved already in my photos album so what we're going to do first is go to my photos and i'm going to show you what i have okay so i do have my own as you can see my own album of what i wanted to look like last month this is what i these are the orange ones are the ones that i was doing um and then one picture that i really liked when i was going through my through google images i believe it was this picture stood out to me the most so this is where i was kind of taking my aesthetic to so what i'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the share button and we're going to go ahead and use it as the wallpaper once I'm okay with it, I'm gonna go ahead and click set. I only want it on the lock screen. Okay, now, now that we have that part, now what we're going to do is go over to PixArt and we're gonna hit the plus button and we're gonna find that exact same photo that we just used for our wallpaper. Now you have it up here. Now what we're going to do to this photo is we're gonna go ahead and um, make it blurry. So we're gonna go ahead and go to effects FX at the bottom and we're gonna look for the option that says blur once the blur option comes up these are all the different blurring options that you have and as you can tell it depends on how you want to blur it where you want to blur it what do you want to blur there's a smart blur motion blur I like to go just to blur and then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply at the very right hand corner click next at the right hand corner and then click save and then click download photo this is gonna automatically save to your photos so now we're gonna do 
is go back to our photos and find that photo. So the reason why we want it blurred is because when we start stacking the icons and the different pictures you wanna put on there, essentially you don't want all the focus to be on the background. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is go back to Pinterest and now we're gonna look for enter iPhone, iPhone icons. Okay, you're gonna get a bunch of different pictures on how people have set up their own phones. There are some websites like Etsy that you can go ahead and buy the different icons. They'll send it to you digitally, but I, I'm not going to pay for that. I'll tell you, be 100% honest with you. I feel like if I can do it myself, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So now we're gonna go to the app called Canva. In Canva, you're able to set up your own icons, okay? So what you're gonna do is click that little plus button at the right-hand corner, and you're gonna click on custom size. The width and the height that you're gonna use for your icon is 500 by 500. And then you're gonna go ahead and click create new design. Now here, Canva has its own different backgrounds, pictures, icons, anything you can think of. If it says free, it's free. If there's a little crown next to it, it's because you gotta pay for it. Like I said, I have got, gotten by by just doing the free version. So what I'm going to do is click on background and scroll and see if I like anything that's pleasing to me. Okay, I like this glitter one that I just found. So now what we're going to do, we are going to click that plus button and we're gonna go ahead and look for elements again. And then when we click on elements, these are all the different types of icons. So for example, if I wanted to set a camera icon, I can look it up and then anything that's a camera will pop up. Again, if it says pro, you have to pay for it. So I look at the icons and see which one I like the best. I think I'm gonna go with this vintage looking camera. I feel like that's kind of Christmassy. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with the size now so it can be lined up. And the nice thing is that it does show the lines when it is lined up. So now another thing you can do is play around with the colors of the actual icon. So once you click on it, you're gonna see a, the color at the bottom next to the little garbage can. Once you click on that, you can go ahead and see the, it tells you the different colors that are in within the photo, which is really nice. So let's say you can play around and see which one you feel like looks the best for your actual phone itself. So once you have the color that you, of your liking, now you're gonna go ahead and at the top right hand corner, there's gonna be an arrow pointing down. You're gonna click on that and download it. It's going to prepare it and then next to you know, it's gonna be in your photos. So once we go to our photos, my icon is there to use. If you don't wanna sit there and create your own icon for each of its items, I understand it can be very tiring to pick each one, especially if you're the type of person who has a bunch of different icons they depend on, okay? Okay, so one thing, like I said, if you don't want to take your time to go through each different icon to create your own, I went to Pinterest and I'm going to go ahead and link this link that I was using. And I found an icon that I really liked. It's called Guitar and Lace, her website. Once you click on it, she gives you free aesthetic iPhone app icons. She does charge if you want them customized to a specific picture that you're looking for. Um, but with what I was looking for when I was creating mine, I saw a bunch that are, were already offered free. She has some olive green ones. She has a cozy November, 90 minimalist, and you keep going and she has a bunch. The one that I really like was called Boho Tan pink aesthetic iPhone apps. So you're gonna essentially click on it, and when you click on it, the icon that you're looking for is gonna pop up. So if you want, so if you're looking for, example, the Safari one, right? You're gonna click on the Safari one, and the Safari icon's gonna pop up. What you're gonna do is either screenshot it, or hold and add to your photos. So once you add it to your photos, you can move out of it, 
what I do suggest is go through each one that you like and save it. You can always delete later if you feel like you don't want that app. But make a list of the apps that you use the most and then that way you'll be able to go ahead and um, that way it's just more efficient as you're going. So when I go back to my photos, I'm going to go ahead and see the icons I've saved. So as you can tell, these are the ones, the ones that are like the, um, not the olive green ones, but the neutrals, the pinks, the grays. Those are the ones that I wanted because of the background that I originally chosen. So as you can tell, I'm going to be customizing only my email, my music, my camera, my calculator, my notes, reminders, calendar, phone, my Safari, messages, and maps. Those are the icons. All right, so we're gonna click on the plus sign at the top right hand corner. We're gonna go ahead and click on add action. We're gonna locate open app. It's gonna be like a square with colorful different buttons on it. Then we're gonna go ahead and click where it says choose and in this instance i'm going to create one for maps so i'm going to locate the app you can scroll if you wanted to which is easier for me to type instead of just sitting there and scrolling all day and then we're going to click on the circle with the three little dots at the top right hand corner we're going to click on shortcut name and type in maps we're going to you can customize this if you wanted to to whatever your liking is Okay, we're gonna go ahead and click on choose photo. Go to wherever you saved your specific file. Look for that icon you want. I wanted this foresty looking map. Click on choose and click add. You're gonna see the confirmation, click on done. Okay, so once you've created all your shortcuts, you're going to be at your home screen. It's gonna look like this now. This is where the fun starts. You're gonna go ahead and add any widgets that you want. You're gonna go ahead and add a home calendar if you want. So the next step that I took, I went to color widgets, okay? Here you can choose Christmas countdown, any quotes, the weather if you wanted to. Sit here and get to know the app. Once you sit there and play around with it, you'll be able to see what you like, what you don't like, okay? So I wanted a calendar. So I went to where it says calendars and I chose the style that I wanted. The one that I wanted was something basic. So now what you're gonna do is go ahead, if you like the basic one, go ahead and click um, set widget. I wanted to customize it. So I'm going to click on edit widget. Here you can see how it's gonna look like at the different dimensions that's offered for it. So we're gonna scroll down. You can choose a bunch of different colors. You can choose where a bunch of different fonts, okay? And you can also choose what you want in the actual, you can change the background on it. So the background, I wanna click on add photo. And there's a photo of my family and I that I wanted to use, this one. But I wanna do an up close on choose. And you can see now it in the background, how it's gonna look like it large, medium, and the small one. So you're gonna go ahead and click on set widget, okay? You can replace any of the widgets you already made. Remember the name of the widget as well. So what you're gonna do is go to your home screen, long press, click on the top left-hand corner, that little plus sign, and you're gonna see where it says color widgets, okay? You're gonna go to the medium one and click on add widget. As you can see, it's a picture of me and my husband. So what you're gonna do is click on done, long press only on that one widget, click on edit widget, click on choose, then find the one that you wanted to go ahead and put on there. Mine was widget three. Once you do that, you go back home and there it is right there. Now you can go back to that same app, okay? And you can stay on that same area if you wanted to, which is what I'm going to do. But actually I just want a photo alone. So I'm gonna click on widget and click on photo only. Okay, and the photo that I want is a picture of, of me and my husband. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit it the way I want it to. I'm gonna go ahead and click on choose. I'm gonna see if that's what I wanna see is that how it's gonna look like in the smaller version. I like it. We're gonna go ahead and click on set widget. And then for me, as you can tell, I already had done it, okay? 
So once you, your widgets are already there, you're gonna go ahead and go back to your home screen and then you're gonna again press long hold and click that plus button again and look for the color widget app or the color widget widget. Once you click on that, you're gonna click on the size that you want. I want the smaller size. We're gonna go ahead and click add widget, okay? Click done and then long press only that one widget. Click on edit widget, click on choose, and then we're gonna go ahead and do widget four, yeah. So this is where I'm gonna start moving things around. I don't like the way the way the screen is looking here. So I know that I have to go ahead and click, I want my phone app down here, I want my Safari app down here, my messages, and my, and my mail. I want all those down there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is move that up here and I actually want this over here. Okay, another app that I like to use is called Motivation. I, you download it, you can go ahead and pay for it if you wanted better quotes or whatever it is. I've gotten by only by using the free one. And then what gonna, you're gonna see here is the quotes. And then of course, you can see the different categories that they have. And you can click on a specific category, the different widgets that they have. You can go ahead and customize this on however you want your background to go ahead and look. I already did this. As you can tell, I'm gonna use the second one here where it says simple fall two. I just like the way it looked. So once I go back to my home screen, I'm gonna go ahead and long press and click on that plus button and look for the app, the widget for motivation. Again, you have your sizes if you wanted to. I like the smaller one as well. You can see the different options that it comes with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add widget and now it's here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix it how I want this to look. Okay, so my thoughts on this. I personally love it. I, like I said, I love personalizing my own items. I hate having to be the standard or having to look like anybody else. So when I saw this new update, it took me a while to get used to the shortcut button and everything. Um, but once I got used to it, it didn't feel like I was doing much with it. Um, but I can say that now that to do this, I can go ahead and do this for each month. What I like to do usually around the middle of the month is start looking up ideas on what I want to do for the next month. That way, when the next month comes, I'm able to go ahead and update my phone. Also, something I do suggest is doing this with your main apps only on your home screen, like the one you do when you first unlock your screen. You see that you can have your other screens. I only have one home screen and everything else. I'm able to go ahead and search it through that nice library now that the update came with. I don't really like to have a bunch of apps everywhere. That was one of my biggest annoyance. Now that I can just search instead of having to scroll and scroll and scroll and swipe through different types of screens to get my apps, um, I didn't really like that. So with that being said, I hope that you guys are able to try it, have fun with it. You know, leave me comments if you need help me explaining something or the different types of um, apps that I'm using and the Pinterest, all of that I'm gonna link down below so you guys can go ahead and read more. Do your research and see what you like to do. I see a bunch of different screens with that's even more personalized than mine. I liked mine was simple and I just like how aesthetically pleasing it looks to me. But that was our to do today. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Just remember, take it one day at a time.